Sadcast. Sadcast. Most AI generated podcast on earth. <laughs> Honestly, it's not. Unfortunately, it's probably not wrong. My uh, my name is Billy, of course. And is that what the AI told you? Yes. The AI told me to say that. Um, we're all just being controlled by AIs, but um, I'm Mr. Super Casual Suit. Mr. Super Casual Suit today. Um, I'm feeling great. How are you feeling? Uh, feeling. I'm feeling. Don't you dare say tired. <laughs> no Cause comment. Because there's gonna be like a, I could make a super cut of like, how are you feeling? Tired, 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 tired. Kind yeah. of tired, tired. Well, I'm always tired, man. I don't get good sleep. That's okay, man. Post Malone's got always tired tattooed on his face. It's it's, Dude, it's the swag. Being tired is lit now. Yeah, that's, um, that's the new in. But yeah, you know, it's uh, it's been it's been quite a day. Um, but I'd like to officially announce that I'm a true gamer. Yeah, I have two consoles now. But you don't have a you don't have a PC. That I don't. Game. Well, I mean, I have a PC. You have a PC, but it can't like super game. No, if I if I play like a super if I super game on my PC, It'll it explode. will fucking explode. <laughs> um, but I got the Xbox Series S. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you know, like, and like, I, I see you, t- you you took the advice on the Game Pass thing, right? Trying that out. And... Oh yeah, yeah. The Game Pass is lit. I'll get to that in a second. But I wanted to explain this this situation that I'm finding myself in right now with this Xbox. Okay, go ahead. So, I got it on OfferUp, which for those who are listening, if you don't know, OfferUp is like a secondhand uh, kind of like a trade cra- Craigslist, but not scary. Yeah, yeah, it's not that scary. Um, and um, because they, it's funny because they, there's so much like shit on the app that's like, you know, that tries it tries to not be Craigslist as much as it can. Like they try to uh, alleviate like scamming, and then they're always like, make sure you meet in a public place. And it always suggests like the weirdest places, but I either way, I met in a random ass spot. I met the dude at a Dairy Queen and like fucking. Uh, did you get some ice cream after? No, no, <laughs> dude, I can't. I'm trying to not be a. Fat did it fuck. wrong. <laughs> I know. I should have celebrated. Honestly. Yeah, you should have been like, oh, I got me. I kind of felt bad though after I bought it from him. Okay, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, right, yeah. So, so, so yeah, I got, got so I'm offer up. So I'm on offer up, but I'm like looking because you know I'm. I use OfferUp all the time or Facebook Marketplace. Mm-hmm. Like I don't even use Facebook, but I just have an account just solely to go on Facebook Marketplace. Dude, seriously, I'll just go on Facebook Marketplace and look at the stuff. random as shit they got on there. Oh, it's like garage sailing, but online. Yeah, yeah. And like, um, literally, most of the pictures are of someone's garage of shit in their garage. I sold. Actually, did I ever tell you about my my TV fiasco that happened? Like, a, yeah, I was. Like, you, yeah, I was. I was a part of it. Like, we, you were? Yeah. No, not the TV upstairs. No, the TV that you were trying to sell because half the panel went out. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. You were asking me about repairing it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Maybe I'll explain that too. It's yeah. kind of funny. It's kind of funny. It was, I don't yeah, know. it was funny. Okay. So I buy, I, so I'm on offer up and this was kind of a, a shitty thing that happened where I like went on offer up and I saw this TV and it was 160, but it was an 80 inch TV, which is cheap as fuck for 160. Um, but they said on the, on the description, it said... Uh, it's a, it's a little dim. It's a little dim on the left side corner and they had no pictures of it actually turned on. Yeah. So like, but I, you know, I get like kind of like wrapped into like it being so cheap. So I'm just like, fuck it. Like, Oh, great, great price. Gotta be a great price. You Whatever's know? wrong with it's probably tolerable. But, yeah. You know, so I drive 45 minutes. I'm in fucking, I have no idea where I'm at. I'm in somewhere in Wisconsin basically okay, yeah. for this shit. Um, but I'm like, it's worth it. Fuck it. Like I'll, put a fill my gas tank up and go crazy and i'm gonna be like yes i'm gonna get a nice big ass tv because you wanted it for the basement right? yeah yeah because yeah. i like i made the basement into my little studio hangout spot now yeah. so it's like i wanted a fat ass tv crazy me too yeah 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 that'd be crazy if we had this tv that no one could see but then a tv over there like oh, five tvs nice. in the bitch yeah. That's well, that, like, was, that was kind of akin to the original other set idea that we're still gonna do was just yeah like, just have tv yeah um yeah. but i i pull up and um cash app deal you know he hands me the tv i ha- i cash app him bada bing bada boom i'm out of there driving back i'm like looking at this tv in my rear view mirror and i'm like god damn that's a fat ass tv Didn't like i'm even st- ask him to plug it in no i knew it worked though i just knew you know you have that turn out well there <laughs> so i go back home i plug it in it it's turning on everything's fine but i'm noticing that the whole left side of it is like almost completely black, bl- like like just dark, just yeah, 
just like it, it, as if I didn't turn it on. Um, and I'm like, cool. So I start fucking with the settings. I'm trying to bring up the contrast. I'm trying to save it as best as I can. And I'm really like, at this point, I'm kind of just in denial that I bought a broken TV, willingly bought a broken TV. And the guys told me it was broken. Like he said, like, yeah, it's a little dim, but I will to say be fair, a little dim is different under, than like yeah, half the screen just isn't. turned off. Yeah. He was, he was, uh, what do you call it? Under exaggerating. Is that what it's what yeah, he, yeah. He just, he wasn't, uh, being honest basically is what it was. He, he was, was being, being a, scamming you. he was being a, yeah. Uh, he, he was using, yeah, he was using his words very choice. Like, yeah. you know, very loose, lo- loose terminology. Yeah. And like, he probably originally had it listed as like, yo, this TV's broken as fuck and no one wanted it. And then he was like, okay, so there's a minor, small inconvenience you might find. Possibly you might see you, it. You realize <laughs> when this dude slid this 80 inch to you and you cashed at him and you didn't say, yeah, plug it in and let me see he in was his pro- head. Yeah. This dude was like dancing, literally hitting the jig. He was, yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. He probably walked back in and was like, yo, drinks on me tonight. Like we going out to a nice, I mean, you can get a nice dinner for that much, right? Like I'm yeah. decent, you know, but I don't know, man. It was, it was fun. I mean, he, it, but it was, it was a big TV. So he probably kind of like, he probably paid a lot for it though. So, I mean, he probably didn't recoup much on that. No, definitely not. No, I, I think like, I, I don't like. I could tell by the guys, like just the way he was, he was operating. He wasn't acting sus. He wasn't being like weird. He just literally thought like, fuck it. It's got a little dent or it's, it's a little, you know, fucked up, but like 180 should be, or 160 should work. You know, I think, I think it just made sense in his brain. I don't think he was really trying to like rub his hand and together. Like, oh, I'm going to get no, somebody. No, because like with how much that TV should have probably cost. Yeah. So, he was trying to scam someone. He'd have been like, yeah, it works. I'm yeah. not plugging it in. And then I told you about like what happened after that, like how I went through this whole process. Of, yeah. Like, so you're going to cut your losses so and try it out or yeah, fix it. That's when like, I, honestly, I look back at situations like this and realize that like I should probably just spring for like maybe a little bit more expensive thing to like not have to go through this. Cause okay. So basically I get the TV, I'm looking at it. I'm like, I'm basically like, okay, but by 20 minutes in, like, I'm like, okay, this is fucked. So I list it back on offer up. Oh no, but I didn't do that originally. I started looking on, I think it was Facebook marketplace. I just started trying to figure out how to fix the fucking screen. And that's when it, came to be that it was like the screen's gonna cost more than you paid for it yeah well it's not even the screen it was the led lightings yeah, yeah. The backlights because they were saying like which well, is crazy that the backlights cost so much they're not even the like the high-tech part of the tv like, yeah it like cost the, so much because you have to buy all of them at once yeah and and that was what the because i got on a phone with some like you break it i fix type of guy but more of like a mom and pop like spot yeah and he was like he was trying it was funny because anything to make a buck with these guys so yeah. he was like He's like, yeah, man, bring it in. Um, you know, I'll I'll part out the entire thing and I'll sell each part. And every time I sell it, I'll take, you know, 10, 20 percent. He's being very loose with the percentages. <laughs> you know, there's a, there's a common theme. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'll take 10, 50 percent, whatever, somewhere in between there. Yeah, I'll give you like, you know, I'll give you like 10, 50 percent. Yeah. 50, maybe, 60. You know, I'll take like 60, 50. 100. Maybe a hundred, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But he—that's you know—that's what he was doing. Is he was basically kind of trying to chop shop try, the TV. Yeah, yeah. And and I at first I was like, oh, you know what? That sounds interesting. Because he started, he you know, he started getting me because he was he was like, look, you see this right here, this this the whole liquid OLED uh, display, two hundred fifty dollars selling right now on eBay, and I'm like, tell me more, you know, like sitting there trying to. But That's it, where I came in because you were it, like, "Can we part this thing out and sell it?" And I was like, "I don't think I'd have a way to ship it." Yeah, and then he, the guy, started explaining about how like you have to like do a whole process with the TV. Like you pull it, you have mm-hmm. to pull it on a crane and fuck. I'm like, dude, what the fuck am I doing? Well, yeah, with what an 80 I... inch TV, I'd never be able to do it. I could part that guy up there, yeah, because like yeah, it's a huge TV. You have to like mount it and start doing. You know, can you pass yeah. me the wrench? Like you're under there, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, like it's two... like a car lift. Yeah, it's like some 80s movie or some shit. Like, it's like too much. Get the grinder wheel. Yeah. Sparks flying out from under it. So then basically, now this was, this was like the same, I think it was the same day that this all happened or if, or the same, like two days, maybe all I know is that very soon after I bought it, I immediately listed it. Now me always trying to make a buck too is like, I listed it for 200 (laughs) Now I ex- the way that I explained it, 
was like the same way the guy explained it basically. Like I was just like, yeah, it's, di-, it, but I, I said like, it's dim on the left side. I didn't say no corner shit. I wasn't like, you know, there's five pixels that are off. Like he was that, that dude like sold it to me by basically saying that there was nothing wrong with it. I said, yeah, it's fucked. Like the side is fucked. But I said, you can make money with the parts. Like if you sell it for parts. One guy hit me up. He was like, send me a picture. I was like, okay, boom. Send him a picture. He said, no, this is fucked up. I don't want this. Then the second guy offered me 160. And I was like, hey, man, that's what I bought it for. Come through. He bought it. He looked at it. I could see his like, he was like in my garage, like, because I plugged it into my garage. I was like, I'm going to like show like, because after, after you sell something, like people could contact you, you know, especially if you give them their, their number, they have your address. You know, <laughs> like, so I'm like, make like, sure you're happy with yeah, the purchase. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you're good with that. So I show him, he's looking at it and I could tell that he just wanted like a, like a shitty, like shop TV or something. Like it was just like a, like, oh yeah, that's my other shitty TV that I keep somewhere else. Like, you know, he, he wasn't like, this is going to be the main TV. You yeah. know what I mean? Cause if it was, then it, I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. He sold it, boom, got my money back, and I don't even know where I was going with the story. You I think I was talking about offer up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you're so, talking about the Xbox. Yeah. So it's like, so I have situations that happen like that, but this Xbox One actually went very well. I got the Xbox Series S with two controllers. Um, I met the dude at a Dairy Queen. He's he was like, uh, I got it for 180. Pretty good, pretty good, right? Not too bad. They retail for like 270, I think. Yeah, and then it's like two forty nine used, yeah, or something. So, and I, I this is why I felt bad though, because I was like, I, I pulled up. We both had like limo tints on our cars, so it was really awkward at first. Like, pull, like <laughs> I'm like, is that you? He like texts me. He was like, is is that you? I'm like, yeah, is, is that you? Like, because if you pull up in that parking lot, it's you because you you know how you can't go in Dairy Queen. Like, who goes in? To- you can't. Like they're, they're just like you just walk up to it. So I was waiting for some guy to like possibly get out and order a swirly cone or whatever the fuck they call it. But he just got out and he had the bag and I'm like, okay, I got the cash. And uh, I'm like, what's the reason for selling it so cheap? And he's like, I just needed the money. And I was like, damn, I feel bad because like they always say those that shit like you know someone's down bad when they have to sell their like PS4 or some shit like or yeah. you know or they have to sell their Xbox. And I'm like, damn, dude, like, fuck. You know, times are tough. Fuck it, right? Uh, thanks for the Xbox, I guess. <laughs> like, yeah. cause I, good luck with that. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta yeah. go back to my house and swim my Scrooge McDuck gold pool <laughs> <laughs> with my seven TVs and my forty-five consoles. Yeah, good, good talking to you. But no, it wasn't even. It was just like I was, cause I always have to ask that, cause you know, one eighty. Yeah, like- there's potential for like there's something to be wrong with it and with that tv fiasco and like a couple yeah, other instances here, like, let me let me let me, let me plug see it, plug it into your car let me see <laughs> more <laughs> i wish i could have done that but i just had to take his word, word for it but dude like trusted me crazy he gave me his xbox sign in so hmm. basically i handed it off he's like yeah and like you could use my account i have some games on there and i was like what he's like yeah just just put your like I, he's like i canceled it but you could put your card in and you know, use my account. I'm like, bro, I'm not gonna. So me being me though, I went home and I was like, okay, let's see what this dude got. Like, what is he? Cause if he has like, I was thinking if this dude, like, honestly, like, Hey, you know, it's, I'm shameless about this. If the dude had Xbox live and for like a year, like if he had like a, you're subscribed till 2024, I would have probably been Mateo Gomez, I think, or whatever it is. Fuck. I would have just been him yeah. for, an, for a the, year just to get this dude. Yeah, just to, you know, and I text him once in a while. Hey, you know, Xbox good. Thanks for the account. It's been, it's been great. But it turns out he, like, canceled all that shit. So I, like, and he had, like, he had, like, two games or some shit. Like, nothing nothing crazy, you know. Nothing. So I just, I just reset it. You couldn't recoup with your uh, pass, <laughs> Yeah, no. I was, dude, I was looking too. And I was, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, damn, if this motherfucker's got the live and the, in the premium shit with the game pass, like I'm set up, like I hit the gold mine, but no, but the whole point is about this bullshit that happened afterwards is I buy the Xbox. I'm super stoked. I signed into my account from 14 years ago. I have like the, the emblem that says like 14 years. I was like, oh my God, like, let's go. I feel old. Yeah, I felt, I did. I did feel old, but I felt like accomplished or something. Like, yeah, I, I still like, use the same account. Yeah. That's still my same account I use from 
back in the back of the back, back of the in day. The back in the back. I've changed the name multiple times. Yeah, you know, but I had all my friends on there. I had to delete some. I was like, who are who are like I like my brain like forgot some people because you know how you you used to have like Xbox friends that were like only Xbox friends. Yeah, and then you'd be never... like the person that killed you in GTA nine times and talk shit about your mom, and then yeah. you're just like, yeah, let's be buddies. Yeah, yeah, and then fucking 10 years later it's yeah, like who like, the who, fuck who's this i had so many like modders on my shit from like the co- the cod days of oh, like, yeah. like jumping into modded MW2 lobbies, lobbies yeah. like just and i could tell that it was they that all was like had the goal to get into like an mw2 mod lobby that was the best that was great i actually went on mw2 2009 and because you got to say that now because there's yeah, like now modern warfare one. 2 yeah. 2 um and my shit's all modded still. I'm like 11th prestige. I don't have any emblem on my shit, so it just says 70. And all my classes are like colored. Yeah. They're like all the color colored. color text and stuff. And it said like mods by Conroy or some shit. Like some old... I don't know. But so I, I set up the game pass. I, I start downloading games left and right. Overwatch 2, Destiny 2, Halo Infinite. I'm fucking going for it. I'm just downloading, downloading, downloading. And then I hit a wall because it's only 500 gig. So I'm like, okay. And then this is where you come in again. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, like, what the fuck? Like, I need, I need Did to you... extend my story. Well, hold on, hold okay. on. All right, all right. Here it goes. This is where it's coming. This Here is coming. Comes. Okay. Here it comes. <laughs> so I hit a fucking wall. Okay. After like what? Two games? No, no, not, not. Okay. Hold on. I hit a wall because. I started to I so I formatted the yeah. four, five terabyte you gave me. I started downloading the games on there. Moved all my games, right? Started yeah. downloading more games. Got up to like two terabytes of fucking games. Lego Star Wars. Like I'm going. I'm now. I'm like extending. Like, like a kid I, in a I don't candy even want to shop. You're oh my god! Like, I don't even want to play this. But I don't like, want to play it. But it's free. <laughs> yeah. So I'm downloading, downloading it. Everything's downloaded. I like. I put it on sleep mode. I worked on music for like four hours. Came back later that night, and I was like, "Dude, I am fucking ready to game my ass off." I couldn't play any of the games. Yeah, you can't play any of the games because the old um, what, are, what the memory cards or whatever, the the extenders or whatever, they yeah, don't the work drives. with the new. They don't work with the new ones. The hard, yeah, the hard drive. Well, that, that's the, that's the thing is that is actually a very fast hard drive, but it's not it's not it, solid state. But it's I think it's also like Xbox being like, "Fuck you guys, you have to buy our shit." Yeah, you know? did you try? Did you try? I was gonna ask. Did you try doing the PS4 thing? You were gonna wipe. You were gonna put your PS4 shit on that, and then see yeah, if your PS4. It didn't work. work. No, it's so. Th- then I grabbed my phone and I was like, okay, I need to. I need to figure out the lore on this. So I'm like looking on the internet. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what am I doing wrong? What what uh, external hard drive? That's the word for it. I was. I'm like, what do I need? For the fucking thing. Then Microsoft and, comes up with a result. Get our external hard drive but, for only $700. Bro, you you nailed it, bro. I looked on I there. I'm looking online. I can't fucking find it. And it just said, you need to get our expansion card. It's the only thing that writes at the fastest speed for them. Which but is it's, horse shit, by right. the way. And no, it is. Totally. It's just that they just want to make their money. Yeah. And so now I'm like, okay, fine. You got me. Whatever. Two hundred dollars for one terabyte, four hundred dollars for two terabytes. Yeah, that's a rip off. So now I'm back on offer up. <laughs> yeah. I'm like scrolling through. Did you through. find one? Because I would be I, curious to try like I found patching the, together one. the The cheapest one that I got right now is there's a dude. He's about an hour away. He's selling a one T for a hundred bucks. Yeah, that's about the price you'd get a one terabyte solid state for. So um, but I'm over here thinking like, because I'm like, I can't. Get that, myself no, see, to you gotta, spend. You gotta, you gotta be able to just plug a, a solid state in. No, but that's what yours is, isn't it? No, mine's not solid state. Mine's spinning. It's, remember? Right. No, I don't. I from what I've seen, we it can just, try. I've got the things to do it. You do? Well, maybe send me home with one of them. I don't. Fucking oh no, know. I can't do that. I'd have to bring it over. Oh okay. Well, I was gonna say I I looked high and low on the internet. I and no, it was I mean, saying, if you're if you're willing to look for a good price, I could probably look and find one, and we could do like a test. Like I'll just. Mm. Because I don't care. I like having external drives. I'll buy a one terabyte solid state external drive. Just to like just try plug it. plug it in and just see. If it don't I work, would, I'll just keep it. I would look like, look it up. Like, because I looked it up and it literally said it was like, no, they, you can, you could use that solid state shit as much as you want for storing games. But when it comes to Xbox Series S and X games, they, they're like, they're putting you behind a paywall. But if you could figure it out, um, let me know. 
because I'd I'm be fucking, interested. I'm gonna Google. It. I'm over I'm, here like I'm on a mission now because I paid 180, right? So you're gonna two hundred dollars. What if you just replace the hard drive in the Xbox? Uh, I don't know if you could do that. Like oh, anything's possible if you got a soldering iron and determination. But at that rate, I'm gonna buy the hard drive for probably the same price, right? Not depends. Because then it's like might as well just get a new Xbox that's like has more storage. No, I because know. I think they only make them up to one terabyte in storage. Like the internal, but mm. I feel like, cause that's the thing I like about PS4 yeah. and like whatnot, like PS4, I can go right now, which I actually still have to do. I can pop out my PS4's hard drive and put a new one in. Yeah. Like I could put a four terabyte hard drive in my PS4. Right. And just boom. I mean, if you get, well, maybe we'll look later and see yeah, if you could help me out that. with that. Cause fun, that's, right? but, but even though I don't have, um, you know, the, the fucking, cause it's literally a memory card too. It's not like a, it's just like a little memory card and it's small. And that's why it's like the, to justify so the price. Weird. It's not like this big thing. It's literally like a little memory card. So it is call like it some expen- proprietary shit. Yeah, that, like they just were like, and you need to have one of these to play our games. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't know I that at, when I worked at GameStop, we sold like like what I gave you, like a hard drive. Yeah, and it was just like you just plug it into like an Xbox yeah. S. But I, but that's like a newer one. I'm guessing because it's like the digital version, right? Yeah, maybe so that, that has to do with like, it. Or the newer ones must be like, hey, pay us more money. Or they came out with like they came out with these memory cards and they were like rubbing their hands together, like, mm-hmm, like now we we're gonna remember that. Remember when you used to have N sixty fours and you had to put in the memory card expansion yeah. in to get that extra sixty four kilobytes of delicious RAM? <laughs> well, guess what? And now it's fucking a hundred terabytes. We're gonna like, bring that back and charge you an outrageous amount of money because we're Microsoft. It's insane though, man. Like four hundred dollars for two terabytes. That's that. Well, bro, Bill Gates could fucking hold on. Fuck, I'm fuck Bill Gates for that. Two terabytes, two T's, 400 bucks. I don't know, man. Well, you can get one terabyte for a hundred bucks for like oh. a regular, just like solid state drive. So where does a four come? Like, it's like, God damn, it should be a hundred and two hundred at the very least. Right. But I'm like, still spending more than I paid on the. Cause you know, when uh, we used to have, when we used to sell the spinning ones at GameStop, the old drives, they were like, it was like 200 bucks for two terabytes. Yeah. I was like what it was. And Weird. those weren't solid state though. Those were spinning. Yeah. It was like what I basically gave you. Mm. Well, even though I don't have the shit, I've still been having fun. I was playing, um, last night I was playing black ops two zombies. Zombies. That's a throwback. Great. Do you remember? Do you remember that shit? Yeah. Remember town? I remember town. Transit mode. Yeah. All green, that shit. Green something. The green the, line or something? Or yeah. This is what the bus route was. That was transit. Yeah, it was like they had like the farm area, the town and the diner. Yeah, the gas station diner. But um dude, I was like trying to get my buddy to play it with me. Well, I still play Black Ops 2 like zombies on pc but i don't think i could play with you that's the thing yeah they didn't have the cross platform but i like another hilarious microsoft thing is like i wanted my buddy to play with me on it and there's like because he doesn't have um the disc he has a digital version Mm -hmm. 50 bucks still on the microsoft store for black ops 2 (laughs) like dude that's not a Microsoft it's a thing. Fuck it. What it's a Black Ops Two. It's still an Activision that thing, much. probably. Yeah, it's whoever made it. A Treyarch, I think. I don't yeah. know, but it that because that's even now on PC. I went to go look up the price of Black Ops Two. Yeah, and it was fucking whatever, fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Yeah, and I was like, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Respectfully, no. Respectfully, um, I'm gonna have to say that's a new. Yeah, because it's like I just, it, it's kind of a fifteen year old game. Right, it's kind you know, of not worth fifty dollars anymore. Yeah, my, mis- my nostalgia has a price tag, and it is below fifty dollars apparently. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like maybe twenty bucks, maybe even that. Right, like that's kind of still it's so, high. Like I could go, be, dude, I could walk into a GameStop and get that game for like a penny on like the wall or some shit. Right, that like just reminded me of a TikTok I just saw. Some dude traded two thousand games into GameStop, and he got uh, twenty one dollars. Yeah. Twenty one dollars in store credit or two cents in cash? No, he he literally got twenty one dollars cash. Oh, cash! Yeah, if he went store credit. He would have got like at least twenty five. Is that that pennied out shit you told me about? What? Where like, like you can't. Yeah, if you turn in shit, it'll it'll come up and be like, oh, we can't take this, so let's like not take it. But they just get. Oh, but I thought they actually give you a penny. No, they they can't give you anything for it. 
pennied out in the system is where something literally just like, cost a penny in the system, but that means we can't. Like, right, right, right. Because at that rate, with that like exchange rate, I was thinking they were actually like, okay, skate three, that's a penny. You know, like giving, because it's like 2,000 games for $20. Like, what the fuck? No, that was probably definitely some like three cent, four cent. That's like a there. fucking meme, bro. That is funny. Well, it's like you ever with the CEO was like resigning or whatever he was doing, and it was like, oh, he's cash. He cashed out his pension, and it was worth like two hundred million dollars or forty eight dollars cash <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, that's that's. I remember trying to do that back in the day, and I did it one time. I like traded a couple games, and I was like, never again. Yeah, I will go. I will cash. fucking risk my life and go on Craigslist. You go, you go to store credit and then you get yourself, you go store credit and you get yourself cash cards. Yeah. Okay. You know? Interesting. Yeah. If you I, can uh, still do that. I don't even know if you can do that anymore. Maybe. Um, I think they stopped doing that because people were like scamming them. <laughs> right. Well, cause you could take the cash, put it on a card and then leave, like take it and you spend it on something else. You literally get like a visa card, like a gift card with the store oh, credit. And then you can use it for other shit. Yeah. Interesting. And huh. then they were just like, "You're not doing that anymore." I, dude, there was so much. You wouldn't, you wouldn't believe the number of, uh, like every every week, the number of shit we had to read about, like on our little employee about bullshit. You got to tell geo people terminal, or whatever. We'd mm -hmm. be like, yeah, "Don't, don't remember. Don't if this person comes in or if they're doing this or they're trying to confuse mm -hmm. you or this scam's going." Just around, however, going however, around. you could like make them make the less amount of money they could. No, no, no. Like just scams. Like just oh, what we had to right. read about like like the new scam going around. Right. No, I've heard week. of a couple of different retail scams that people run, like where they buy something cheaper try to return it when the price goes up and like yeah and then there's one and then it's like but how does that ever work because you're supposed to have your because be, they do it without a receipt because some game stops will be like oh we don't have well if you don't have your receipt but it's like we can look it up on your account so that never yeah. works right. and there was this one where like they'll 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 be like oh if i give you this could you give me this much change and they try to like confuse you with numbers to make you give them the wrong amount of change and i was yeah. like Probably or, works one time. Yeah. First off, it works one time or I'm good at math and it didn't work. Yeah. Like my boss even tried it on me. She was like, yeah, it works like this. And then she was like doing it and shift, shifting you, money. You in hit him with the rain and, man move. You were like, yeah. And then she was like, all right. She's like, all right. And then, yeah. And then you just give me a five. And I was like, no, I still give you a dollar uh, this. Yeah. And then she's like, oh. Yeah. See, I would have got fucked up because I'm a fucking idiot. And it, like with math. Oh. Because the computer Man. tells me that no, what? How does you giving me your like changing bills? It doesn't change what I'm giving you. Yeah, like, yeah. Like I'm only gonna give you this much money and re as as, a, as an amount back. Yeah. You trying to be like, oh, can you also take this five and give me back six or something? It's like, like you remember those like f those fast math sheets you used to do in school? Yeah. I. Dude, I would do them and then it would, so it was like the one, when it was like one times two, one times three, I'm like, yes, I'm fucking killing it. Yeah, I'm killing it, bro. Two, it's just the number. When, when it got to two, that was like, it was two times five, two times six. I'm like, okay, okay. It took me a second. When he started to get hit throwing the threes at me or like the threes and the fours, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. And then you'd have the guy that was like, I just finished. And I'm like still on four and I'm like, oh. Okay, this is hard. Math is really hard. Where's my calculator? Yeah. You won't have a calculator with you every day. I do. Yeah, I do. I definitely do. I have, <laughs> I have multiple on me at all times, actually. Always. I got six calculators at any given point. So Yeah, right. Like at this math point. Math teachers could suck it. Everything's got a fucking calculator. My watch has got a calculator, my phone, my car, my computer, my, my weight scale's got a calculator. Like what the fuck? Yeah, they really tried to like hammer that in to your brain. Yeah, like, like you were never gonna have one. And the the shit they used to say too. Well, I can't contest to this because I didn't go to college. But like the shit where they were like, when you go to college, they're not gonna blah. blah. Oh no, no, it was high school because that was grade school. Because yeah. I remember in you go to high school, you're not gonna be able to have it. Not gonna be able to do this. In high school, they're not gonna. And then you go to high school, and then it was like the teachers cared less. Yeah, they cared even less. Like that's why I was like, failing. Why are you talking to me? Just do your work. Yeah. I don't care. I fucking like was my first bro freshman year, my first um semester of freshman year, I was in something that they called uh freshman study because mm. it, to, in order to get freshman study, you had to be failing three classes by the end of this uh Oh, it's not a good thing. Okay. No. No. <laughs> really bad <laughs> thing actually. Like it was like you had to be failing three <clears throat> classes and uh, by the end of like the report card period or whatever the fuck, like not by the end of the, no, not by the end of the, wait. 
Some I don't fucking know. Some whenever they give you like an update and yeah. you're like shit's Basically like set you're in. Dumb. Yeah, you all know, big time. I was a fucking idiot. But it's weird because I'm not stupid, but I didn't want to apply myself because I was so nah, used to not applying myself. Yeah. And so, but then when I realized that everyone's leaving school at 2.30 and I got to leave at fucking 3, no, 3.30 because they had f- some fucking freshman bullshit that everyone had to go to. Oh, it was called like Access. No, it was called Access. It was like every, like, I'm, I don't know if anyone else has to do this. Uh, I don't know how other high schools work, but it was like 2.30 was everyone that's yeah, not everyone freshman leaves. leaves and then and then uh, half an hour like after half that. an hour after that all the freshmen stay yeah that was called access was it called access oh yeah. i thought it was called like the orientation no well, i remember well, that you went to a different high school no i didn't well you you did you transfer out maybe they changed the name i don't fucking they know they might have changed the name but it was basically like yeah everyone else got the leave yep. i did eventually i didn't have to do the whole freshman year i got to leave early because really? uh i got bullied in that class by other kids and they were yeah. like we're just not going to have you do it cuz you don't need to be damn here. i should have uh, i mean i'm i'm I hate that you got bullied, but I should have. I fucking, think we talked about it. I should have lied. I should have lied and been like, "They're bullying me. I Let me we fucking about leave." How the person drew on the back of my neck. Right, the right. Podcast. Yeah, we talked yeah. about that, and then I didn't have to stay late anymore. But then it was even worse because I ended up on the senior and sophomore bus, and then I was getting picked on even more. Right, because it's I was a, a freshman. fucking freshman. God, high school man. But no, I literally, I um, I had that bullshit. But then after that, you had then to stay after longer. That, I stay longer for a half an hour for uh, f- Bro, freshman study. I used to study. get Saturday detentions for fun at that school. I don't think I ever had Saturday detention. I had I got Bix constantly though. I would get them. I would go to see the dean. Yeah, be like we're giving you a Bic, and I'd be like, yeah. I want a Saturday detention. Like that's a worse punishment. I like, think they got they must have got rid of that or some shit. I don't know because maybe the but system they, they, it was a is a worse punishment than that. Yeah. But like then they'd be like, well, you can't have one of those. It's the worst punishment. And I was like, I don't want to be here after school. I don't have a ride, so I'll just come in on Saturday. Like, no, it's the worst punishment. So I would just start cussing in the middle of the dean's office. Fuck you. Out loud. Fuck you. And then I'd be like, now can I have a Saturday detention? And then they'd yeah. give me one. But you just you just wanted to go to school on Saturday? I just didn't want to stay late on a weekday. Right, 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 right. Okay. I'd I was, rather there's the give and take. To, yeah, I would just go to for three hours on a Saturday. So I would get detentions all the time, but not for like doing crate like okay sometimes it was because i you know maybe i said some fuck shit um and the teacher was like shut the fuck up and then i like because i had a pr- you know i mean as you can hear on the podcast i like to, I like to talk i right? like to imagine the teacher just be like shut, shut the, the fuck f- up shut the fuck up no um shout out my english teacher she was cool but either way <laughs> i just thought about she it. was cool she was like yeah shut the fuck up yeah no but um yeah i like to talk in class i was kind of i was a little disruptive Little. Um, on account of my overactiveness, I was kind of like, and then they were like, bro, chill. And then, um, <laughs> bro, chill. chill. And then basically I would get detentions for that or, you know, stupid shit. I didn't put my, I didn't do a, you know, once in a while, I didn't feel like putting on my gym clothes. So I'd, oh, know, I hated that. I'd be like, eh, fuck They'd the gym like, clothes. Well, you didn't take a shower and put and on then, your clothes in the locker room. You're going to get in trouble. It's like, why do I got to do that? Yeah. So I'd get ten- detentions for that. But I figured out the system was you. Were, it was easily manipulated. So four detentions got you a bic, four bics got you an out of school suspension. Mm. So if you don't serve your detentions or your bics, they just double up on you. So I never. All I did was I let it amount up until I had an out of school suspension, and then uh, swing. <laughs> I'm out of school. <laughs> Hang Hello. Out at home. Hello. Like, oh no, I'm out of school and. I knew when it was coming, so I would be like, hey, you know, Miss Teacher Lady, like, I'm going to be, I, by the time, you know, next week rolls around, I'm definitely going to have to be out of school for like a day. So, like, let me know. Like, the day before, I'd be like, um, let me know what's going on tomorrow because I'm going to be gone. And as long as I just, like, sometimes they'd give me the homework too. So then I'm like, oh, I'm out of school. I'm going to take 15 minutes and read this stupid thing. Now I'm back. It caught, it caught up because nothing was worse then missing school and then being so fucking confused right. when you got back. Like I, I would be like, but like all the days that, you're there, you're not confused and there's nothing important. And then the one day you're gone, it's like, that was oh, the big lesson. You he, missed it. Yeah. And oh, in the reading when it was just like, Oh, we're already on this and now you got to go back and it's all thing. But that was the finesse. Cause you just did the, you, and I did Bix too. Sometimes they were pretty grueling. Honestly, do you ever have a Bic? No, I always went Saturday. You know, uh, I, so I had to do a couple of Didn't them. They, just have to, them it, they had them like in the morning and then also like, wasn't it in the morning or afternoon? It was like it you was stayed at, after. You it was at after you would stay till six. 
So okay, you hit yeah. that. You, yeah, yeah. And that's to, why I didn't do it though, because then like, didn't someone have to come pick your? Do they have buses? You had you had the sports bus. That was the last bus you can get on, if you didn't have a car. At yeah. that point, I, I, was, I like, was driving by. By the time I was a sophomore, I had my little fucking bro, I, my little I, shit I box. Tell you right now, that must have changed because I remember the problem was my mom would not come get me with the traffic, so she was like, "You better not get one." And like they didn't have a way for me to get home. So I was just like, well, yeah, they might have had some extendo bus action going on afterwards that they like, because there was a late, 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 late bus and it was just a bunch of like football kids and shit. Yeah. For like all but, the after school activities. But like the big shit, like what ended up happening was I got like, I couldn't do, I couldn't do the fucking out of school suspension anymore because I had, you, if you miss 14 days and you get expelled. Um, yeah, I was bad. Uh, it, it, but it, it was like a cumulative 13th day. Can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Cause that was the thing is not only did I, I didn't get suspended that much. Like I wasn't like a fucking sh- shithole piece of shit. Fuck face. But I did miss school a lot. Like for various re- reasons for, for, mm, and that also uh, and counts I t- though. So and that like, counts. Yeah. It's all the same shit. Um, I've told you about like there, dude, I used to miss, you know, my parents worked mornings. I would wake up sometimes. No one was home. And I'd be like, so I'm not going to school. Um, uh, who's going to make me? Who's going to make me? And then I also was so petty about shit sometimes because I would fucking be up till I was such a crab ass in the morning. I still sort of am. But um, especially during that not time. more than me. I was bad. Um, I would oh, wake if I up. Have, if I haven't had my coffee, don't even <laughs> don't talk, talk to, to me. me. Don't even talk to me. Yeah. Um, this was before I was even um, addicted to caffeine or anything uh, well monsters played a part they I oh, don't yeah we had a problem but, but, with energy drinks <laughs> yeah yeah and then like people started basically dying from them and i was like well i could theoretically i could stop drinking these if i had to um, i could stop anytime i want a- anytime i just don't need to right now so yeah. i'm gonna keep going yeah monsters man god damn monster and a mcchicken still, that's I a do, day I've right still there got like up next to the desk but i there. bet you it's sugar free yeah, I mean, I have See, to have the sugar-free one, though. But I know, but back then it was like you were. We were drinking viscous fucking chemicals and and materials and metals and fucking. They had the sugar-free the ones then, didn't they? Or no? No, I guess um, not. Cause they still have like the BFCs and shit too. Dude, I don't even. Uh, literally sipping bro, on to drink, toxic waste, bro. I used to drink two. Yeah. Of those fucking BFCs before work. Yeah. I yeah. would I would be on my second Wait, one. Wait, does that mean big fucking can? Yeah, that's what that stood for. Okay, okay, BFC. right, right, right. It was the big giant one with yeah. the twist top. Yes. Yeah. Like, I like the ones that you could reseal. Oh yeah, they had a little twist. Because then I'd get it in the morning and then I'd be able yeah. to take a couple sips and then bring it with me in school. And so that's the thing, the BFC had the reseal cap, but it was also big. Monster like, had ah. everyone in a chokehold. Because I remember uh people that had the the necklaces oh, of and the cans. Like the and I'm can like can tabs. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's a lot of sugar. I wish I could, like, you know, make a statement to people that I'm unhealthy and yeah. look fashionable. Oh, I know. Yeah, and and that, bro, people would do a bunch of shit with that. They they crush them down and make like art out of it. Like that's how much they loved it. Like this is my monster art. It's almost a cult <clears throat> when you think about it. Yeah, it is the like, monster it's cult. Crazy, like people like. But it's like with every energy. Like there's people that are like, like, ooh, you drink that that fucking shit. I I'm drinking drink Vault. Mental, or yeah, or yeah. Like, I'm only drinking Rockstar. Yeah. Like, it's like whatever a energy whole... drink you drink. Yeah, like it's like football teams. You're 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 so into that specific thing, right? That you're just like, I will literally die for this. Yeah, I'm like this is the hill I will die on. Yeah, it's too it's too much, bro. All that shit, and there, it, the can is always fucking the size of a football. Yeah, and it's too. It's just you ever oh, had man. venom. No, that sounds Good. like fucking toxic waste for me. Oh, real. yeah. I couldn't. So there was no venom. Uh, when I worked at that GameStop right next door, yeah. as of course, everyone knows, the strip mall at GameStop is in. Yeah. Right? There's the nail spa salon, the closed for uh, closed for now tap. We talked place. about this. Yeah. yeah. And the I don't GameStop, think I've, bro, I don't think I've ever shop. seen, I don't think I've ever seen a GameStop standing on, stand on its own. No, it's Ever. always like that. But like, so the, the smoke shop next to us, like on our breaks, we'd go in there and get like bags of chips. Cause obviously they had like bags of chips and monsters. Just random and shit. Like cool, yeah, of course. And uh, the guy that ran at Ali, he was like a close friend of like everyone that worked there. Like he would always come into the store and be like, yeah, get some change. Like, yeah, always, good yeah. side character. Yeah, exactly. And uh, so I would go in there and it got to the point too, where like he would just ring up tabs. 
like if I hadn't been paid, mm -hmm. like he would just be like, you know, oh yeah, you know, you just owe me like two bucks because like it was supposed to be like two fifty nine for a monster. Yeah, but I would just come in and be like, I, I, like he wouldn't even be in there. He'd be in like the back. You're like yeah, you owe me five hundred bucks, but don't. And even I would worry just like it. grab a monster out of it. And I'd be like, yo, Ali, taking a monster. He'd be like, all right, two bucks. I'll, I'll see you when you come around next yeah. time. And I yeah, just, trusted like, leave. you. Yeah, and then I just fire. come around next time, be like, "How much are you?" And he'd be like, "Uh," and he'd like type on it. He had like a little, he had like, like a little post-it <laughs> note. And yeah, he had all of our names written down, and he had little check marks. Yeah, for how many? Because we all drink Monster. Yeah, for how many monsters we took throughout the week? I would just like pay him at the end of the week. I used to. Do, I've done that with different like gas stations and shit, but like back in the day, like nowadays, I I I haven't been able to do a t run up a tab anywhere because right. people are just like, "Pay me now!" Yeah, what the I need the money now, and it but makes sense, so, right? So how's well, business a monster. works? Not mm. a monster. And uh, uh, I needed something sugar-free. Yeah. My boss at the time is like, oh, well, have you ever had Venom? They sell mm. Venom over there. And I was like, well, what's that? And he just, like, his only response to what is Venom was, <laughs> I'll get you one. Well, like he was laughing that you never heard of it? No, like he was laughing that I was about to drink one. Oh. And I was like, well, this isn't going to end well. Did that shit put you on fucking next level mode? So he brings me one. And I take a sip. And I'm like, <laughs> and I was like, I've never drank kerosene before, but, <laughs> and then I'm just kind of like, oh God, what the hell? Like it just tasted like just sitting rotten, over there laughing. Yeah. Like, I don't know what. Just and then I was garbage. like, oh man. So then I take another sip. And I'm like, oh, oh, it got worse. Uh. Oh, how did it get worse? <laughs> like every sip. Yeah. It progressively left a worse taste in your mouth. Really? Damn. But I couldn't stop drinking it because yeah. I needed energy and I'd already opened it and he but bought it for me. This was, sh that, that thing was sugar free? Yeah, it was sugar free, but it was uh. called Venom and it's like a can. It's got like a snake, like snake scales wrapped up in yeah, like yeah. two snake eyes and it says like Venom on it. And it's like a uh. brand of, they're everywhere. I think I've seen them out here, but my Lord, if you ever want to taste what it tastes like if someone gives you a flat monster mixed with actual gasoline yeah, and, try and that. like kerosene, just shake it up, put a little like bitters in there. Oof. Like, oh my God, it was God awful. Watch, gonna there's going to be a bunch of comments. I'm going to have to... <laughs> what do you mean? Venom's my Venom, fucking shit. Venom, you drink shit. monster and monster's crap. Venom's the best. Yeah. Like, I'm telling you, man, there's a sub, there's every, every energy drink that exists, there's a... There's a fan base. There's a fan base. Um, So, speaking of... uh. I, I was going to think how to segue this, but have you seen Megan yet, this movie? No. <laughs> I was going to be like, speaking of Yeah, I just drinks, saw her a couple um, weeks ago. We went out to get Panda Express. Oh, no, your cousin? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Damn, Panda Express. Right? I, it, it, now, we, we talked about it, and then that's why I was going to say, was now like, that I'm on my carb-free shit, though, whenever I hear like anything that's like, I can't really uh, necessarily eat, although I can't like, have- Oh, that oh, sounds like, really mm. fucking good. Oh, no, but God. the- on a side note, though, the carb free shit's working. Like I'm losing weight, yeah. and I'm, I'm my. You look good. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I'm kind of, you know, I, you know I plateaued really for a second, so I had to like figure out how to go back down. The bone of beef protein bowls are actually pretty fucking delicious. Because you know me, I, my bone of beef. Yeah, yeah, I know. I had. Uh, I think I've had one before. It's just like I got like different ones. You got like it's like one the the one Mrs. Suit had was like meatballs mm. with like chopped sausage and like mm. marinara sauce. I'm yeah. Like that's it. And then like yeah. there's another one that's like the beef with the sausage. It's just it's basically just a meatball sub or a a, a beef sandwich without the the bread. Yeah. It's like extra serving in like a bowl. I had um I had some shawarma yesterday without the mm, rice. Yeah, okay. Oh, but that's the yeah. Uh, you you gotta give up the basmati rice. Yeah, I had to give that up and um. Bas basmati, basmati. Basmati. I basmati? think something like you got it. I think yeah. that shit is so good. Oh my god! Like just because I, I I got the mixed uh mixed shawarma, which I think it was chicken and it's like shredded chicken and I pork. Go back out to your place just for that place. I missed that. That, that was so good. So fire. We don't got that shit out here. Probably not as good as that. I'm sure you have shawarma uh, places, but mm, not yeah, as good as that. Not spot. close by though. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna come to your place, baby. Let's get shawarma. Do it. Let's do it. I'm down. That shit's so good. All right, we here with Faruqi, funniest guy in the world, sure. greatest TikToker, dude. I can't go a day without Where seeing your first? shit on my for you page. It's like, and like all my friends are sending me your shit, so I was like, I gotta get them on. Um, okay, great. so first things first is like. How would you describe your content to like those who are listening or watching that have never heard of you? Like, what are you all about? <laughs> okay. Um, it's weird. Um, when somebody asks me, you know, or if somebody gets like, um, you know, the vibe that I do social media from maybe one of my friends or something, or they just hear it yeah. that I do it. Um, they'll ask me, Oh, what do you do? You post videos. And I'm like, I'll usually say 
I just make comedy videos, you know, and then if they go in, the, if they want me to go into more detail, like, oh, comedy videos about what? Usually I'll just say about different characters and some of it is about my culture, you know? Right, I, right. I don't want to go too much into detail, especially if they're like an older person who's not that literate right. in, in social media. But that's that's generally how I describe it. Um, but obviously if it's someone who's, you know, who's on TikTok and they don't know what I do, maybe I'll give go a little bit more into detail just because they, they don't understand. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, in terms of that, yeah. Okay, yeah, that kind of goes right into the second question because, like, you do these characters and they're like hilarious, mm-hmm. and I feel like that's like a large chunk Thank of you. your of your stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm wondering, like, how do you come up with these characters? Like, where do you pull them from? Uh, they're all from my school, all from my high school. Really, I'm a senior in high school? <laughs> yeah, um, they're all from my high school. So we actually don't have too many ROTC kids, mm. um, but there is this one. There is this one gentleman in my school who I'm going to I'm going to he's going to remain nameless. Yeah. His mannerisms and, and and he's fucking hilarious, by the way. I love him. We're friends. Yeah. Um, And um, he like he's very unfiltered. He's very straightforward. And so I yeah. think what my earlier characters were just based on like the the um, how blatant he was. He would just say shit right. and like unfiltered. And I'd be like, dude, that's funny. Like, you know, he's funny. And yeah. so I, I just kind of created a character based on that specific part of his personality, you know, obviously mm. not about you know the rest, but yeah. Yeah. I guess. And also, you know, there are some anime kids in my school and there's some, you know, there's a stock, there's a stock trading kid and there is a crypto kid in my school who I've met. Yeah. Um, and you know, they all behave kind of similar, but I just turn it up to 1000%. Yeah. Know? Cause it's always like someone, like one of those characters walking into class. Do you like have those situations where you're sitting down and then that, that like person walks in and then you definitely, think like, definitely. I can make a video yes. about this. Do they ever see the videos? Yes. Have you ever had someone be like that kind of, no. right. Cause they're not self-aware no. about it. Like they probably don't know. Like I don't a crypto think, kid probably I don't doesn't think know they are. No. Like yeah, yeah. No, I don't think they are. Um, especially the, uh, when I made the crypto kid video, um, it starts with him just sitting down, he's on his laptop and he's talking about crypto. Yeah. And I think I was interested in investing in crypto at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, so I remember asking him, I was like, um, yo, yo, how do you invest in crypto? He gave like the worst answer. It, it was so obvious to me that he knew nothing about crypto or how investing worked at all. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it was just like a persona. And so I was like, dude, this guy's fucking hilarious. He, um, I need to make this. <laughs> did he hit you with the, you know? you know, like, it's easy, idiot. Like all that shit. Like, yeah. how do you no, not like, know this? <laughs> he's like dude it's so simple like oh my god and he was like oh my god oh my god it's so simple dude i just can't even believe that you don't know and he just proceeded to give like the worst like least detailed explanation he's like dude just go on he's like back when ftx was still a thing too because this is my junior year husband was like dude just go on ftx just get like a thousand dollars worth of bitcoin and in a month it should turn into a million from a million you're gonna want to subsidize some shit bro it was just so goofy and i'm like dude what are you talking about bro that is funny as fuck, dude. Yeah, the the crypto kids. It, it's funny because a lot of people that see your videos, I think why it's going viral. My my thought on it, the theory is like, I think everyone knows these people. Like everyone has seen yeah. kids like this, and like every high school, Definitely. like anywhere. Um, mm-hmm. but your shit has been going up crazy, like millions and millions of views. Like, how do you feel about the success that you've been getting recently? Um, I I feel I deserve more. I feel I deserve more than I've been. No, I'm just playing. Um, it's no, it's been it's been going great. Um, obviously yeah. it's it's very humbling, and I, and I'm very blessed to that. You know, um, a lot of people like, like my videos, and it's resonating with so many people. Um, mm. and so yeah, it's been an experience. I mean, even starting out, I'd be happy just getting like ten thousand views. You know, I yeah. was like, whoa, like let's go, like this is awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, obviously this has been on a whole a whole different level. Um. And so I think I want to start also posting um, to YouTube as well, full length videos, which are coming soon, guys. Full yes, length videos on YouTube, I think. Um, in character, and, yeah, like I wanna, fully? I think, yeah, well, we'll dude, some videos are going to be fully in character. Like, you know, I'll be the ROTC kid for this video, Crypto Kid for this video. Yeah. Um, and some videos I'll just be myself. Um, but I kind of want to, I think TikTok has just proven to me that, you know, I could, I could be successful in one aspect of social media. Now I just got to, work a little, not a little harder, probably work a lot harder and take it to a different social media platform and, and hopefully see success. You know, it's just kind of been uh, proving to me that I can do it. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good you luck know? with all that, dude. Um, so here's my thing. 
the my most important question, the thing I've been waiting for, is we got to talk about the the drooling. Okay, so okay, all <laughs> so right, let's talk about it. How how do you create so much saliva in your mouth? And is it actually saliva, or are you putting water in your mouth? Please, no, like, no, no, let no. the world know, it bro. Is, it is not water. It is actual saliva because what I found with water is when I'm using water, it, it's going to just fall out, right? It's just, yeah. it's, it's just going to fall out. With drool, it's going to it's gonna like sling down, up, back yeah. up, you know, this. And it's really <laughs> disgusting. Um, and people could actually tell. People could tell, oh, it's just water in his mouth, you know, that. No. So what I do is I, I'll usually, I'll just kind of just like go into the zone and just really, really imagine about sucking a Jolly Rancher, like a okay. green or a blue Jolly Rancher. Um, and my mouth salivates. If I really, I train my brain to just, and I got to sit there for like 30 seconds and I'll get a decent amount of saliva, maybe another 30 seconds if I'm doing the ROTC kid, but generally <laughs> that'll be more than enough. Um, and then I, I'll set the timer on the recording and I'll let it rain. Bro, you know? it just pours out and it doesn't stop. That's why I thought like it had to been water, but that is like no. low key. That is like fucking impressive. Like Thank that you. is <laughs> like I show like I show your videos to some people and like some people with like weaker stomachs so are like what the fuck dude get that away from me that is insane. <laughs> yeah, I always find it kind of cringeworthy posting um some of my some of my TikTok videos of me drooling on the Instagram because yeah. like my Instagram audience is a lot smaller and right. so I think it's like it's like it, it, I'm comfortable posting it on TikTok because I think my TikTok audience knows me a little bit more but when I post it on Instagram. Like what the fuck it's is out going of, on? Yeah, like, it's like out of context because if someone sees right. it on Instagram, like on their explore page, they might think you, you are that person or something, right. you know, or like yeah. that's like, yeah, exactly. Oh man, yeah, I had to ask, bro, because I was thinking about no, like that's how right. a lot of people ask me about that. I get a lot of DMs asking, <laughs> "How do you drool so much?" And I'll just tell them, "I just got to think of, of a Jolly Rancher, you know, um, does a trick, does it like a charm, no water." Zero water. Wow. And do you film multiple videos a day? Like what's your video process like? Like what do you how do you go through that? Um I, I film I film multiple videos a day. Um it really just depends on like how many because I guess my process is I'll sit down um at the recording at my recording desk um and I'll just brainstorm ideas. I'll look through my comments. Typically my comments help me a lot with recording new videos. Mm. Um and I'll get a lot of inspiration from there. Um, and I'll, if I have a couple ideas for a couple of characters, I'll record three videos in a day and then I'll post them all. Mm -hmm. But if not, I'll usually, if I only have like one idea, I'll just refine that idea and just post one for the day. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, it could, it, could, I, it could go anywhere from four to one post a day. But I, I typically always meet that one post um, a day mark. Yeah, you, know? you definitely do post a lot. I was, I noticed, and like I could tell when they're like filmed, like you know, in concession. But um, it's funny because you can't do that because it's in character. So you're wearing the, it's always like the same clothes and shit. So like right. it probably works that way. Because some people, yeah. some people don't film that much. Some people can't do it as much as you can. So that's good that you're able to just like just run it up. Right. Yeah. Exactly. You know? And 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 I think um, that's. Uh, it's also put it in there. Like I've seen, I, I remember seeing content creators who post like once a week. And yeah. I think that started, that started getting me a little lazier. Like, holy shit, these guys are growing pretty good and they're only posting once a week. Yeah. But I was like, nah, I think I'm going to stick to just posting once a day or at least twice a day, you know, this, that, you know. Well, now you have so many characters, like you could just rattle them off. Like Monday you could do, you know, crypto, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you could yeah, just like, exactly. you probably have yeah. it like in concession now. So it seems like you have like yeah. a good system. Um, right. I think so, I do. Yeah. With your like recent success, do you feel like, I know you were saying you were in New York recently. Like, do you feel like you're, when you're out in public, are you getting noticed now because of your videos? Yeah, I, I, I have been getting noticed a lot more recently. Um, um, I, w I was in New Jersey, um, mm -hmm. uh, like three days ago. Um, and this kid who was working at a shop, right? I've never even been inside a shop, right? By the way, a little side note, but apparently they're all over the, the, the East. Wait, um, what is it? And shop right a shop, shop right? right i never even heard yeah of them. yeah they're in the east okay they're like upper yeah east. and yeah. right and so i've never been in one and i was lost as shit and i was just like looking around and i'm like whoa what's going on like you know like where is everything this supermarket's weird and then i asked one of the employees and um he turns around and said holy shit dude you're the guy you're the guy for tiktok and he was working there he's an employee that works there yeah. um and he was like dude hold up come, come here come in the aisle come in the aisle and i thought he was gonna go take me to where you know what i was looking for but he just started <laughs> pulling out Snapchat and he was recording. He's like, Hey, what's that smell? What's that smell? And I'm like, <laughs> all right, bro. Like I need to find some milk. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, 
Was that your uh, first encounter it, with like a fan, or did, has it happened before? No, that's been the most significant. But I've had I've had a couple of other uh, a couple of other um, a couple of other encounters. Yeah, you know, typically like eighteen years old and, and younger. You know, right, really, right. I don't TikTok think anybody audience. over eighteen really knows me. You know, yeah. Um. Okay. Cool. Well, I guess for the last question, this is what we've been asking like all our guests. Like, do you have any type of message for the fans that may be listening? Message. Um. Thank you. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. Thank you for watching the video till the end. Mm. Okay. Um, go follow my Instagram. Bars. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, just stay tuned. I got more content on the way. I got more YouTube content and uh, more Instagram content. And, uh, you know, thank you guys for supporting. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that, well that's said, message. bro. Well, honestly, what's dude, like been the best message you guys have received? Ooh. What's what's been? Let me see, because then like, like the we'll cut that expensive. out, and then I'll say what they said. No, <laughs> no, that was good. What did we have? Um, uh, B Huncho said some There's shit. Milk. What did he say about like give me money because I can't? Yeah, afford he's like milk. give me money because milk's five dollars a gallon, and that yeah. shit's expensive. That's good. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah, I guess if I had one message for my fans is um, <laughs> um, please go ahead and just uh, subscribe to my YouTube, subscribe to my Instagram, subscribe to my mm. Twitch. Right, I need more money. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and I think you guys will probably pr uh, provide the money. Um, and I'll provide the entertainment. You guys pay my bills. I'll it provide is. It's the an entertainment. exchange. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, right. Come on. They, they, I mean, if you watch my videos for over 30 seconds, that's that's what is that? $30? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think that works. Dollar a second. Mm -hmm. I think that makes sense. Yeah. All right, man. So, yeah. Well, I mean, we're not trying to be greedy or anything, but yeah. No, no. Dude. Well, thank you for jumping on. Seriously. Um, I'm glad we finally got this in. No problem. And um, yeah, this is awesome. You guys have some great questions, man. Yeah, absolutely. All right, man. Peace out. Peace, bro. But Megan, have you seen? It's a it's a movie. Okay, it's a movie. No. Okay, you've seen Chucky. No, you never seen Chucky? Like the horror movies? Yeah. No, not even one of them. I mean, I know about them, but, but not I've even like you've never them. seen one. I've seen like bits and pieces. Okay. Been on the TV or but stuff. But you know the you know the premise. Yeah, right? I know the premise. So it's it's um. It's like Chucky, ex except she's a robot. She's like a, a like a super intelligent like AI robot. Mm. And oh, that explains. Was that about the intro? Did you have Megan on the brain, and that's why you were like AI generated podcast? Probably, and AI yeah. Runs our lives. And... Yeah, yeah. No, it's so it's basically um, without trying to spoil much, I guess, because it is new. It's um, horror. It's it's a horror movie. Psychological thriller. S thriller, a little tiny bit gory, not much though. Mm. Um, but uh, so it's basically, it's just about this company that's developing um, a new toy. Um, and, you know, instead of it being like a teddy bear, it's a fucking, it's a robot fucking robot. It kills people. Yeah. And um, they, I it's because imagine... it's like that AI, it's like that AI shit where all of a sudden, you know, she's starting to get smarter. And, um, but. So just like everything else in pop culture media, they have to grab the current wave, which is that yeah, AI wave. It's Chucky. Like, this is how it's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Chucky mixed with AI. And um, it makes me think of like iRobot, but not. It's kind of like, like that. AI robot, There's like some, went... but what's funny is is like like Chucky because that's why I thought you might have seen it. So I was gonna compare it to Chucky because it's also really funny and like the comedy really hits. Okay, um, so it's got like those. Is it like the dark humor moments, or is it just like straight up like they just cut um, the comic relief? It's it's like well, it's dark humor because of the situation that's encapsulating the the, the moment. Like right, like, but it's like that Chucky style. Of yeah, yeah, it just cuts to like something really funny, and like I I saw it um, last weekend, so it was like um, pretty soon after it came out. So there's a decent crowd in the theater oh it's in so the theaters it was okay. yeah it's not on streaming yet i was gonna see i was about to be like you know what i like when you recommend a movie to me Billy? being able to just see it, it on... just you always recommend me the best movies that come out on a streaming platform <laughs> so i don't have to go to a theater. well fuck you i'm not seeing that movie until it's out on streaming yeah i, I hope... don't do movie theaters anymore i, I right? know yeah i see I, i'm weird with theaters because i it's so it's it's i play into the nostalgia factor it's like if there was a blockbuster near me i would probably go to it because it's like fuck it like yeah, it's like this is something I did. As this a child. is some yeah yeah, and it's like let's do it. Oh, I want to make popcorn but, now. But yeah, just thinking about blockbuster or <sighs> I'm the go movies. Upstairs and make popcorn. The, you know, it's funny too with um, movies now. Like you could buy movie theater popcorn on like uh, DoorDash. You yeah. could have them. I could just make it. Right, right. Because you used I've to be big. Got, you are a popcorn, popcorn fiend, got, bro. I've got my popcorn machine set up. I there. remember when you used to have back I've at your got old one. place. Is that the same shit? No, I, I everywhere I've ever moved. It comes with you. 
No, I've just bought another bought one. Bought another honestly. This is the first one I brought with me cross state. Normally I just buy another one. <laughs> so I remember you having those, like all those seasonings. Oh yeah. Yeah. And, um, so that's why like, I feel like, um, th- but it's weird. I'm not a popcorn fan. Like I'm not a huge popcorn guy. Oh really? I don't like, eat it all. It's fine. I'm definitely I, making some when I go upstairs. Like I go, this is what I do. Go to the theater. I get me like a drink and then I'm, I'm more of like a sweets guy. So I might get yeah. like a pack of Sour Patch Kids. Maybe if the I'm snow feeling- caps. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I don't like eh. them, but it's like you can only yeah. find them at theaters. Yeah. So it's like, um, or like, you know, Swedish fish. Uh, oh, you know, God. the creeper, creepy crawlers. What, what is it with like theaters and having like theater candy? Like it's yeah. candy you only get like when you're there. Like it's yeah. like, or like you, you, you know, you'll see. I guess you see Swedish fish in like yeah. stores, but like yeah. you don't really notice them until you're at a theater. I um, I'm a big Swedish fish fan. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like even mm. even after the like the fiftieth one, and it kind of starts tasting like plastic. So if I was able it, to get you like a four pound bag of Swedish fish, I'd probably throw up. But you you dig it? Yeah. Like I would probably I got eat some it phone until I. To make. I'd probably eat it until I'd fucking threw I up. I got I got some phone calls to make. Do it. You, you got a Swedish fish guy? <laughs> yeah. No, it's a woman. Oh. Well, tell her to hit me up, man. I need them. I need the you Swedish know her. fish. All right. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you know her. You know her. Um, Epsom salt bath. Wait, hold on. Have you ever? No, wait, wait, wait. I wasn't done. <laughs> okay. Have you ever had popcorn with ghee? Uh, like the clarified butter, like the good shit. I don't. Is do they serve that at the theater? Fuck no. Oh, dude, fine. at the theater you get like piss colored popcorn flavored oil you don't <laughs> get like actual butter you know you got to put the straw in the popcorn because then the butter goes down the straw and it butters your the tiktok hack you gotta do that i saw so many people doing that do the do the straw thing all right look 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 so ghee <laughs> is clarified butter it is okay. fucking delicious it's got an amazing flavor and that's mm. what i use in my popcorn okay so i don't know maybe you'll have to try some mm. okay Anyways, so I took a bath. Yeah, right. Here we go. <sighs> so, okay, well, before that, before I took a bath, I mm-hmm. had to have something happen to me that I needed to take a bath. You shit your pants? <laughs> Dude, that would be awful. Take a bath and shit water. No, I Fuck. mean, you gotta wipe up first. No, no, you don't no. just, like, get in the bath <laughs> I've never, dookie butt. I have never taken a shit that was so bad that I said, I need I to take got, a bath. I've said I need to take a shower. Okay, yeah, shower. But a bath? No, okay. You gotta do the shower bath shower. Yeah. You take I, a shower, get clean, soak in the bath, then take a shower to get the bath shit off you. Right. And then take a shit again and the wet shower shit. Yeah. Ugh. You ever just take a shit when you, do you ever be in the shower and you're mm. showering and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I got a shit. And you mm. like do the little like hop out of the shower. Poop the walk toilet, over to the, yeah. And then it's like, it just slips right out and there's nothing there because you're all wet and everything. But it's so, un- I hate that feeling. Yeah, getting out of the shower while you're wet for anything, Ooh, for yeah. anything, like Ugh. the towels across the room. Yep. Or like I'll, I'll I'll go to like wash my hair and then like well the the one or two I have, <laughs> and like you know I'll get my little shampoo. I'll be like okay. Yeah. But like I won't have any, and I'll be like oh, and the extra bottle I bought it's like across the room, mm. and then it's like it's like what it is right now. Yeah. Like it's cold out, Ugh. and you're in the warm shower. Oh, and, and you just you kind of look, and you like you. I don't, do you got like shower doors or you got curtains? I have a shower door, but my my bathroom is fucked up because it has these like high ceilings. So the it's it's fucked. You've seen, have you seen my like master bedroom? Uh, I think so, but dude. It's like the there is there is the shower doors, but it's like it's not. It doesn't go up to a ceiling. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like yeah, exposed. Well, like mine doesn't go to a ceiling. But it's like but it's oh, like you'll it's be kind worst. of warm, and then you like open the door just a bit to go see where the object is, and you get that. <sighs> yeah, <and> you're like. <sighs> Yep. Yep. Like uh, no. Yeah, but um, I basically look, man. This is what happened. Mm. I had the worst back spasm ever. Okay. Okay. I've been working out more, and I've been more. I've been more active. Mm. And it was one of those days where I just I didn't have as much water as I should have, mm. and I you got some bad like Charlie I, horse. I gave crap. myself a little. I I did a little reach, and then I was like, oh, and I was like. <laughs> I can't this is move. How I stay. It's like, oh God. So my shit was fucked up and I took a bunch of medicine and nothing worked. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to hit the dollar store and get me a fat ass bag of Mr. Teal's. Uh, uh, I think yeah. that's what it's called. Miss Teal's or Miss, Mr. some Teal's. shit. Dr. Teal's. Took that shit out. Is it doctor? I feel like it's doctor. Probably doctor. It's Probably. a big ass bag. Dr. Phil bath salts. It, yeah. Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> it that smells would... like him. Mm. Ugh. What does he smell like? He can't. I mean, he's got to smell like an old man. Yeah. 
Right. Doesn't all bath salt kind of smell like old people though? Because it's always like it, those scents that are like... It was um, lavender. Eucalyptus so and yeah, lavender yeah. or, you know, Ben Gay smell. Or like, <laughs> yeah. you know, Moth like balls. Vicks, yeah. <laughs> Vicks scented bath yeah. salts. No, I... um, It was have you, good. Wait, have you had that shit though when you're sick? Yeah. They actually do make like vapor rub bath salt. It's like oh, got yeah. Vicks in it. And yeah, I, I was clogged up and I used that shit and I was like... You finally oh, breathe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, but I took a I took a bath and I just laid back and I was like, just let the salts uh, do whatever the fucking I don't know what the fuck that science is behind it. Oh, it's salty. I got out of the fucking <laughs> it's salt. That's all it's, I know. Got out of salt. that shit and I I was like, whoa, I could like move and shit. Yeah, I've, like it loosened I've, me up, bro. I felt like a, a a plate of fucking butter. I don't know if it's the salt that does it for me or just like the warm water. Like, that's the thing. Yeah. Like, is it the warmth of the water well, or whatnot, or is it I, the salt? I was sitting there, you know, I needed some reading material, because I actually was on my phone, and I fucking dropped my phone in. Yeah. I dropped my phone into the bath, and it was, it was. I'll get to that in a second, because there's something funny that... <laughs> I, I'm reading this Dr. Mr. Teals, whatever the fuck, and it says, like, it. the salt is actually uh, relaxing and soothing your muscles. I don't... I, you know what the upsetting part is? What? You know, you ever, you ever, well, you know, you probably haven't brined chicken. Mm-mm. I think we talked about this, like brining turkey and stuff. Yeah. It's just salty water. You put the turkey in. And it, it loosens it up. down the muscle. And loosens That's all it we up. are, right? It's We're just meat. soaking a turkey. <laughs> yeah. That's what I felt <laughs> like. I was turkey. like, my fucking stomach was out. I was like, oh, dude, yeah, every dude. fucking time I'm in the bath and I don't fix, I'm a tall, I'm tall. Yeah. And I'll be in the bath and I'm sitting like this in the tub and it's like my legs sticking out <laughs> in my belly and I look like a fucking turkey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or you're like giving birth or some shit. Yeah. I you look know, like water a birth. turkey in the bath and I hate um, it. I'm over here like, I'm just a turkey. But I, I was fucking on my phone, dropped it in. Right. Dropped it in. Uh, yeah, but pulled it's it fine because it was an iPhone. Well, uh, not mine at first. My shit was oh. fucked up. My speed, it was just my speaker that was fucked. I tried playing a song and it was like, yeah, I was, <laughs> and I went on YouTube and seriously, anyone listening, cause this is, well, this is how we'll, we'll, oh, we're almost done. Got a few minutes left. So this, if you've gotten this far, you have unlocked a life hack. Mm. Okay. This is what you need to do. Drop your phone in water. Um, <laughs> well, if, okay, let's put it this way. If you drop your phone in water. Go to YouTube and type in sound that gets water out of speakers. Okay. Yeah. There's a sound on it's YouTube. It's a high range frequency sound. Yeah. Exactly. Well, okay, Mr. Technical. Well, well no, because <laughs> like Apple watches no, and the they do Samsung that. watches. Yeah. When you do the clear water mode, it, just, it does like a. Yeah. Then it goes like all the way exactly. up in ranges and blows the liquid out. So, but I was thinking it's some YouTube clickbait fucking bullshit, right? I'm you like, click it and then there's an ad. Yeah. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that should actually work though. Like I put it on and then uh, it, it, I looked at, dude, I was like, I was like science. Like I grabbed my iPhone and I was looking into it and I saw the little bubbles of water yeah, like like coming water out of it. Coming and out. I was like, whoa. Like and your I, iPhone just was like drowned. Or like, <laughs> and it like yeah. pops up the water when you get a CPR. The title said, get, remo- it said remove water from your iPhone 100% guarantee i'm thinking that's fucking cap because who the fuck's gonna claim but it it worked 100 percent guaranteed it worked damn and then i listened that to that guy music. needs an infomercial dude for real did you drop your iphone in the bath well, turn up the volume hit play here we go <laughs> it was yeah free absolutely free i should have paid for a service like that that shit was crazy um but the other thing I wanted to mention is like while I was um, doing actually really quick, does your phone have the 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 charger detection thing? Where like if you try to charge it while it's wet, it'll be like there's moisture in the charger yeah. for it. Yeah, okay, that so didn't happen that though. There. Somehow I oh. didn't get that. But I have gotten I get all that weird shit sometimes. Sometimes I'm just using my phone. This is how I know I need a new iPhone because it'll be like um, your phone's overheating. You can't use it. I'm like. I'm what? just sitting in the sauna trying that. to use my phone. Maybe. <laughs> no, it'll but... be funny because it'll say shit like that when you're sitting in your basement and it's freezing cold, but yep. we both were using our phone in the sauna at the gym. And yeah. it'll be like, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's how you know it's old because it'll be yeah. saying some shit like that. Dude, I know that they must have to like do some shit where like after a new iPhone comes out, they have to bog down the other ones, bro. Because all of a sudden lately, out of nowhere, I would have never seen this coming. My battery is like fucking broken now. Like I charge it, it, it charges for some reason it charges faster now, but it dies faster. Yeah. But, 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 uh, 
my roommate's got an older phone iPhone than you, and it it's fine. My battery must be on the fucking way out. I wonder dude. if you just got some shit draining at like some app or something open. You could do that battery uh, feature check thing where you could like maybe. see what's using it. I always use power save mode. Like TikTok, bro. Yeah. TikTok. They got some remedies on there. Oh, I just shut it down. Oh, oh, oh I'm oh. telling you, TikTok <laughs> wastes all your batteries. I thought you were like, what, what, what do I go on TikTok and search? What do I need to find? No, I'm no, telling you. It's just TikTok. No, it's funny. There are actually TikToks of people like yeah. doing that though, where they'll be like, look at your battery usage. And then Bro, it's funny because you'll always see TikTok as the app all the way over here. Like, just yeah. taking up all the battery because it runs in the background and is always like, look at this thing for you page, for yeah. you page, for you page. No, like, I have my shit. You. I have my shit turned off. Like I, when I, bro, I, my biggest pet peeve ever is when I go on someone else's phone and for whatever reason, maybe they need to show me something, whatever. And I like go to close out the app I was using and I see 45 apps open. It's such a like, it's such a pet peeve of mine. Cause I'm like, yeah, you've and it's it always those, it's, oh yeah. And it's always those people that say like my battery dies all the time. I'm like, well, no, you have amazing 700 apps open. I haven't charged them. that phone in like three days. I feel like you might not use your phone as much as I use my phone though. I don't. I really don't. It you know? sits on my desk and it just has a little active display and once in a while I see your face pop up <laughs> and I respond and then I put it back down. That's I don't it. fuck with that active display shit. It makes me uncomfortable that the screen never turns off. It's not like wasting battery though. I know, but it just feels weird. It does turn off too. Oh. It turns off and then if you glance at the screen or if you like tap it, it'll like light up and yeah. it'll show you. But then like... It's weird because it will be off and I will like be, it'll be laying on my desk mm. and I'll just go like this and I'll see it kind of light up mm. dimly. And mm. I'm like, yeah, wait, how did it know the cameras? Yeah. Like how the fuck? Oh, cause it, it thinks that you're looking at the screen. Yeah. Cause like if you glance, it'll like, I don't know how it always knows when I look at it to light up. It's like locked onto your eyes somehow, but the camera's like. Well, I guess it sits at an angle because the cam because the camera on the phone is like you know six million fucking yeah. it's like a fucking photo lens coming out the back. Right? Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, they're probably always watching though. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, they're always listening. That's for sure. Oh yeah, talk if you you know fucking talk about something, you'll get an ad for it. That yeah. shit is still like I'm like I don't even want to think about. You have no idea how helpful that is. It's helpful because I'll just be like. No, I'll it be is like, helpful. Man, I need to look something up, and I'll be like, I don't think I want to admit that it's helpful, but it is. I'll be like, wow, I just can't figure out why this thing is happening. Oh, there it is. Yeah, <laughs> almost like instantaneously. Yeah, like I'll go to search some shit, and it's like scary. Yeah, it'll be like, do you want to search for this? Like, yeah. All right, calm down, Siri. Yeah, it's next level, but you know, it is what it is. But what I was gonna say though, quickly about the inversion table, because I was gonna mention, uh, I. Yeah. Because you you were saying that you wanted to borrow it and whatnot, so I was like, yeah. okay, hold on, um, let me try it because my back was absolutely fucked up. Um, but I was okay. So for anyone, because I don't know if anyone, everybody knows what an inversion table is. You hang upside down like a fucking bat. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to hang upside down. It's it's fun. It basically, <laughs> to it's, do it's, it's it fun upside. to be upside down. You just invert. <laughs> it's it's like a table that goes like ninety degrees. Yeah. Like, what is it like sixty, forty? Yeah. Something. So like, you could like go all the way back. You could like just be lay, laying like you're on a fucking operating table. I don't like that one. Yeah, that's. I don't like weird. feeling weird like that. I like, I like the upside a, down. I like I like I like. I like like a like a forty five degree. Yeah, so you, like st- up you to, feel... I've gone up to sixty, but I yeah. really don't like the ninety. It makes me too. It makes me tense up too much. Well, I did the full full yeah. vert or you whatever. Just were like, Woo! I did that shit, and I was I was laying there, and I was like kind of like you know just enjoying like or I was trying to enjoy because you do get like your body goes through a little bit of a panic because you're kind of like wait 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 what's going on like your you're feet. Like, well, I'm gonna are, die. Yeah. And I'm laying there and I noticed that I like started kind of to get a little like, like tired. <laughs> like I was like kind of sleepy. That's and not then, healthy. No, it's not. And, and I was, cause I, I stayed on there maybe a minute or two too long. And um, I was like, oh man, I'm like really starting to like relax. And then I, I thought I was like, wow, I'm like passing out right now practically. So I was like, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Move my shit up, bro. I like had the craziest head rush when I got up. I was like, whoa like there was blood that circulated from the bottom of my feet that probably never got to my brain that were like whoa where are the fuck are we at <laughs> this is crazy like i Bro, was oh down in Toland, we don't yeah. have eyeballs no, yeah, i was like i was fucking literally about to pass out i think like i would have just been like hanging like fucking oh the worst way to go 
really really the worst way to die but almost the worst way to like pass out and wake up like two hours late. like what happens you just wake up like and or, or do you die i don't know i don't want to find out oh is that why i'm getting the table <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah after you that i was out. like i was like you know what you could you could have this fucking thing but i don't know give them the spiel it was a great episode guys thank you for listening yeah, Mr. Right. Sue, take well, it away. If you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to comment, and then you can also like the video, ring the bell to get notifications. Over here, you're going to find the playlist of all the episodes covering my ugly face. You will find the video that YouTube recommends for you. I switched it up. And up here, you can click on the sign if you want to subscribe. Peace out, y'all. Bye.